Okay, the camper has been closed for two weeks. Um, we closed it two weeks ago after we had the backyard camping with the girls. Um, as we closed it, we heard an explosion. Have no idea what happened in there when we closed it. Um, this is the first time we're going to open it uh, and see what happened. Hopefully, it's nothing too bad in there. Let's do this. Whenever you're ready. You gotta go high. There you go. Afraid to look. Uh oh. What? What? Oh, wow. Oh. The microwave is down. It is? Let's see. The microwave, I guess. I guess we forgot to, to uh, put it down. Oh my gosh, so that was the explosion. The microwave. How did look that the, happen? How about the glass? Uh, glass on, any oh. glass damage on the, hold on, on the hold camper? On. Hold on, I'm looking. Let's see. That window seems to be fine. Oh, no, this is good. Everything is good up there? It looks good. So at least we only lose the microwave. Oh, well that's... Hopefully that's all there is. Okay, let's clean up this mess. Well, let me on. continue opening it. Okay, okay. Go ahead and open it. Let's keep checking. So Be careful. My hat went off. <laughs> Okay. I don't see any damage there. Wonderful. Yeah, it sounded like it was just a microwave that exploded. Be careful, don't cut yourself and try not to step on the glass. I'm trying. Okay, it's up. This is going to be messy to clean. I hate glass. It has fallen all over the place. The last wall had to come down. We forgot to put down the microwave and it the weight from the side wall hit the microwave and that's what caused the explosion. That's why, that's why it's so important to make sure we check that nothing is left up. I know it's so funny. you don't have this what just happened to us. <sighs> yeah. Because we took everything down but the microwave. Well, I think for now I'm just going to use my toaster oven. I'm not going to deal with this. It's so upsetting. It yeah. can be replaced. I know. Well, guys, the reason we didn't deal with this um, until now, two weeks later after vacationing, was because we didn't want to deal with the stress. We knew that something happened inside and it wasn't something good. Look, but at, the, look at the glass. We just look didn't want to deal with the stress. See that? Look at this. Glass all over the place. But, um, okay, anyway, let's see. Where do I start by removing the table? I don't like when things like this happen because I like to have the kids in here with me once in a while. And um, I hate the idea. I hate the idea of one of them getting cut with one of these pieces of glass. So I'm going to try my best to get absolutely every piece. But let me start by removing all these little stuff that I have here tied down. So let me start by moving the table and all this stuff before I start cleaning.
put this outside. Let's just leave that there, leave that there for a moment. Putting on gloves because I didn't want to get cut. So let's see. If any glass on here, it went right through. I guess it's not bad. Put it on the counter. I still have to wipe it down just to make sure. everything off I'd rather the glass stays all in one place so I'm going to be shaking things off and then Shaking it outside where we don't, in an area where we don't step. Okay, let's see. What's next? Let me grab this. After I sweep all this, I'm going to have to vacuum. And not only vacuum, but... like we need a hole in the head, right? Uh, like, like I said, guys, I'm just glad it wasn't a window. A window will be more costly than a new microwave. See, glass on cushions is not a good idea. Very lightly, because I don't want no glass to go into the cushion. And then, of course, I'm going to again vacuum that and shake it outside. Normally, this is my bed when I have the kits over. So, I want to make sure I don't get cut at night. Oh, well, guys, um, when closing these campers I know we get used to having things in certain places especially camping a few days in a row but you definitely have to check twice and not check twice but ask your spouse or your partner to check after you check double checking is always a good idea I just uh, thought the microwave was part of the counter when I told my husband it's ready to be shut, everything is down. And I took a double look, but again, it just became part of the counter. That's how used I was to mm, have anything. That's going to be trash. Rosie's little toy. Do, 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 do. The door. So there's more light in here. Well, guys, don't feel bad for us. This can happen to anybody. This is how we roll, right? Oh, 
once I shake these well into the washer they go let me just fold it this way drop it outside and continue here So far, I don't see no pieces in the drawers. Get the big pieces out of the way. So. Well, if you're wondering what you think happened, if you're wondering what could have happened here, why did we leave, why we let the side, that side, come down and hit the microwave so hard that it broke. Uh, honestly, uh, we're not getting any younger. I'm not 59 anymore. Which means that it really takes two people to bring these things down. One person can do it, but it's really heavy. So I believe that when my husband was closing this side on the sink or stove side. It was too heavy and it came down a little too hard and that's when it hit the microwave and it exploded it. Uh, because I think that if you are still strong enough by yourself to bring down this flap you would have felt the microwave and knew there was something stopping it from closing but because it came down so quickly so as I'm saying that this is a classic bump beds on not bump beds but almost uh, two twin beds on the side even though they're not really twin cycle this a lot smaller maybe 28 by 78 but um, we might consider in the very near future to get a, a used one I believe it should be used because they're so expensive a ranger or a scout a light I think that we can handle the tent footer because I would love to continue camping for another good 20 years it's just um, sad to even think that we have to sell this one even though it's uh, 1600 pounds only really dry weight but we need to go lighter so a ranger or a scott light 10 footer will be perfect for us i love this little one though because again let me show you it's a little messy now because we we have packed it up and we haven't gone camping but as you can see it has two beds side by side and it's so convenient.
I think that's the last of the big batch of broken glass so um, it'll be easier now to continue cleaning and sweeping but that was my major concern pick up the big pieces so now I can move on onto something else inside the house because this wasn't on my schedule here's the microwave let's see maybe I should try to open it right scary whoa look at that that's intact putting a toaster oven in this spot here and tie it down with my tie downs here my little bungee jumpies so that I don't have to worry about remembering to put it away and it'll fit there perfectly so all I do is just pull it out put it back in a little sad when things like this happen but life goes on could always be worse right <sighs> thumbs up not bad I took things from under the counter here and um, not bad that's all I got on a positive note gives me a chance to really really clean every inch of the camper that's a positive right It wants to rain today. I think there's a 70% chance. We don't have any camping trips planned, but I need a break. I need to go camping. Join us. Bungees will hold it from coming forward. I won't plug it in until it's in use. But it's a perfect fit. Pulls out when needed. Excellent. Countertop can always be used for something else. Hello, hello cutie. 
How you doing? How you doing? It's okay, Rosie. It's okay. You're still my favorite. Yes, you are. Yes, you are.